get another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I want to focus on in this video is percent. Okay, and we can take a look at some common percent questions and the first one is um, uh, finding a percent of a number. So for example if I wanted to know what 7% of 90 was well how do we do that? Okay, Well this is actually pretty easy. The, the core skill here that you're going to have to learn is converting a percent into a decimal and this is really easy. Alright so let's go ahead and just look at that real quick. So 7% how do we convert that into a decimal? Well it, it's going to involve moving the decimal point. Okay, So 7% is the same thing as 7.0%. Right, so I just wanted to see what that uh, uh, decimal point is and the way you convert a percent into a decimal is you move the decimal point over two spaces to the left. So that's going to be one, two. So you're going to get 0 0.07. Okay, so 0 0.07 is equivalent to 7%. Okay, so of course if I move the decimal point back over two spaces to the right, one, two, I'd get back to 7%. Okay, so that's the biggest uh, core skill that you need to know. How to write a percent as a decimal. So let's take a look at some other examples real quick. How about 40%? Okay, 40%. How would you write that as a decimal? Alright, so 40% is the same thing as 40.0%. And remember what we do is we move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So that's going to be one, two. So this is going to be the same thing as 0 .4, 0 .4, 0 0.4, okay? All right, so if you understand that, then you're going to be set to do these problems. So let's go ahead and move forward here and talk about how we find a percent of a number. That's the most common, uh, the most basic type of percent question. So 7% of 90 is all you need to do is take your percent and write it as a decimal. So we already talked about that. That's going to be 0 0.07. And you're going to multiply that by the number that you're trying to find a percent of. So that's 90. So 0 0.07 times 90. I want to get your little trusty calculator out. I'll get mine. So 0 0.07 times 90 is equal to 6.3. Okay. So 6.3 is 7% of 90. So it's another way to look at this is, let's kind of take a look at another problem. If I wanted to know what percent 6.3 was of 90, I know it's 7%, but the way to find that is the following. 6.3 out of 90 is going to tell us the percent that 6.3 is out of 90. Remember, the concept of percent is this concept of how much a part is out of a whole. And really it's the percent is really a fraction out of 100, but really I want you to kind of think of a percent as being the how much a part is out of a whole, okay? And we uh, represent that in percent. So if you take 6.3 and you divide by 90, you'll see that you'll get this decimal, 0 0.07. Now, 0 0.07 as a decimal, remember, is the same thing as 7%, okay, as 7 written as a percent. So hopefully this makes sense too. And let's go ahead and do another example just to kind of drill this home. All right, so how about let's say 12% of 150, okay, so what's 12% of 150? All right, so remember the first thing we have to do is take the percent and write it as a decimal. All right, so that's 12.0% if you will. And we're going to move the decimal point two spaces to the left. So that's 0.12. And then we're going to multiply by this number, the number we're trying to find a percent of. So 0.12 times 150, real easy. Let's go ahead and do that on our calculator. 0.12 times 150 equals 18. Okay, so 18 is 12% of 150. All right, so this is just a real basic um, introduction to percent problems. In other videos, I'm going to um, actually use equations to solve uh, more challenging percent problems. Uh, for example, uh, what percent, here's an example, what percent is 3 out of 
210, for example. What percent is 3 out of 210? Or, it's actually kind of easy, but you'll see there's a other variety of percent questions we need to look at. But it all starts with your initial understanding of how to convert a percent to a decimal. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out. Um, please come by our site, algebratesthelper.com. A free resource full of all kinds of um, tutorials, all designed to make math learning easy. So good luck, and we hope to see you soon.